Aiden Ross will never change. Aiden Ross is one of the biggest live streamers of the past two years who recently right. got a yeah, massive no payout that is potentially that. worth tens of millions of dollars Damn. to abandon Twitch and move to a new live streaming platform called Kick. Ever since this move, he has been on a tirade so school, right? of shock value content saying and doing whatever he wants to go viral yeah, that nigga been and going, it's that nigga been kick has an extremely lenient terms of service so he now has the comfortability to speak his mind freely without potentially losing his money and these days i'm in he class is not holding Yo, back chris tell all your friends to come to the streams chris and tell them niggas to make a twitch account and follow right now put me on nigga put me on with your fucking classmates my nigga goddamn back. Now it's not like Aiden oh, had a squeaky today. clean reputation. Damn. When I documented his come up two years ago, I covered all of his major controversies as well as the genuine hard work it took to reach the top of the live mm. streaming industry. At that point, he was definitely an edgy kid, but it seems- Okay, I would never do this shit, okay? I would never fucking do this shit on stream ever in my life. I would like, you have to fucking donate me goddamn 100 subs to do this, some shit like this, bro. This is insane, dog. Seemed like his heart was in the right place. These days, his intentions are unclear. So let's take a look at what happened to Aiden Ross. From streaming okay. with every major rapper in the industry, losing his girlfriend, making extremely down bad content, meeting Andrew Tate, and changing his entire Yo, online Andrew, persona Andrew forever. Tate shit was crazy, Picking chat. up where we left off around May of 2021, Aiden was on top of the world. Facts. He was one of the top five most subscribed and most viewed streamers on Twitch, Facts. averaging around 100,000 viewers per stream. He oh just reached God. 1 million subscribers on his Aiden Live YouTube channel, which he oh treats like his main God. channel. And he did a collaboration stream with just about every mainstream rapper in the industry. Damn. It was very clear. Chat, imagine having 100,000 people in your fucking stream, my nigga. Like, what would you do with 100,000 people in the chat? Like, I wouldn't be able to read niggas just going fast. That's how, that's why I like having, like, a small viewership. Because, like, we don't got a lot of niggas in this shit. And I just read everybody's shit, bro. My teacher let me stop doing work early. That's what's up. He for was SCU have 70k, yo, SCU that nigga though. He been like doing that. Twitch for Those like people were seven known years as though. The poggers See? community, yo, or as Aiden poggers. called them, the L nerds. This community is basically composed of all the top streamers on Twitch who helped build the platform's foundation really years SCC. before Twitch was as popular as it is today. Poggers is an emote that people. So are we WL or poggers? What community are we in? We WL, right? Are we WL or poggers? What? What are we? Name in the chat when something good or fun we w -L? Aiden's we community w -L? is known oh. as the W and L community. That community is composed of Aiden's friends and the new wave of Twitch streamers. And instead of spamming poggers, the commenters will spam W or L. A couple Bro, of top streamers in the poggers the community moving. threw some shade at Aiden and his viewers. His viewers are like the kids in high school who want to be cool. You know, like, oh, like, I like rap. I like, you know, like this sort of stuff. Like kind of like hype beast-ish. Okay. Yeah, they're all very yeah. hype beastish. Like, like they think like if Supreme was cool, they think it would be cool, sort of okay. thing. I, dude, I go in there and I, I, yeah. I, I, I literally have fun in Aiden Ross's stream because I don't watch it. <laughs> I think but I'm literally just spamming letters. You're like, yeah, I'm included. <laughs> w, 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 w. I just spam <laughs> W in her. He said spam W. <laughs> Aiden Ross. That's yo. I ain't gonna lie. That, that was some hating shit, bro. What they just said was some real hating shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know who these people are, but that was really hating. Responded. His viewers are like the kids in high school who- Hold on, chat, I'll move my cam. Don't, don't disrespect my viewers like that. You guys literally have fucking Hall of Fame nerds, Hall of Fame threats in your chat that spam poggers or megalo the entire stream, bro. Damn. You guys are unfunny streamers. You guys are not funny, bro. Damn. You guys are not funny at all. Fat, pimple-faced, four-eyed people with social problems. Watch you guys, bro. I don't call my, I don't call you guys fans. What kind of conversation do you guys think that they have fun? Do you guys think they just look at each other and say poggers? Omega low, shoving Omega low in my eyes. Like, they're weird, bro. They're weird. <laughs> Followed by a what? tweet that Aiden sent to Ludwig. Bro, bro, you really are fuck? sad for coming at me and my community. L nerd, go play your violin. Ban Damn. geek. From there, Aiden's audience went and attacked Ludwig, sending death threats to him and his girlfriend. We get 150k every this beef stream. This was That's really silly crazy. and definitely overblown. It was solved very quickly when Aiden and Ludwig both apologized to each other. But it set the standard of how powerful Aiden's audience is. That yeah. he can militarize and accelerate his audience to defend him in any beef. But one day, they would eventually turn on him. In the meantime, oh, Aiden was making an insane amount of money, gambling. specifically from gambling. 
His top sponsor was a company called Rubet, an online crypto casino. Okay, if I just come on stream, start gambling one day, and I don't like, would y'all just stop watching me? And I just start gambling, bro. Like, I just get the gambling sponsorship, bro. We never get no fucking sponsorship, nigga. We not even fucking know, niggas. Nobody know us, nigga. We're literally chat. Is it crazy that nobody fucking knows us? Like, nigga, if you go on Twitch, like no one, like we are so unknown right now, chat. Do y'all understand? Do y'all know that? Well, that was paying him at least CCS one million dollars subs. per month, according yeah, to a private use, are we, are conversation you, uh, that Aiden leaked himself. You got, you got so rated by Blocks They pay me Blocks to play on their website, the right? Fuck I didn't. And then they pay me an amount to to gamble with. Mm -hmm. However, if I lose the amount, I have to withdraw my own money. So Aiden was able to secure tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit daily without risking his own money. An average streaming day for Aiden crazy. was online gambling, talking to his chat, reacting to videos, hanging out with famous rappers, influencers, or streamers, no, and of course, being sus. I'm rapping in the streets, whoa, Yo. whoa, whoa. In the streets, whoa, okay. how to beat his meat. Whoa, no, whoa, wait, no, 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 no. whoa and Despite now. all the success whoa, that Aiden was bringing to Twitch, they always found a way to let him know they won't let him have too much power. During an IRL stream, Aiden was driving his Lamborghini and reading his Twitch chat at the same time. Twitch gave him a temporary ban for using his phone while driving. Just because you can really lose the shit like quick, bro. And yeah, people, chat. Know, yeah, that, so horrible. Okay. I can understand why I got I just fucked up, bro. I fucked up. I got banned on Twitch, guys. I didn't get a. I can understand why I got banned for that. It's a permanent ban. I'm gonna appeal it. I was 100 percent in the wrong though. I was, I was at a red stoplight and I was reading Twitch chat off my phone. Aiden realized that his career, his relevance, his freedom was always going to be at the mercy of Twitch and following their rules. Yeah. Something that he would ultimately grow tired of. As you can imagine, streaming for five to eight hours per day can be extremely repetitive. And having over 100,000 live viewers expecting you to bring something fresh and exciting every day is a lot of pressure. Are, An easy way to take up game? some time is with drama. He started a fake beef with Rice Gum to what prank the their viewers. Open up, now nah, you wanna talk all that shit on fucking Twitch shit? Open up! Fake beef or I not, remember this, this is entertaining. I Just a week this. after this, Aiden played another prank on his viewers. He did an IRL stream where he met up with his fans and the cops were called due to how much chaos there was on Melrose in Los Angeles. Aiden and his team set up a fake arrest to fool his viewers, but the next day he let everybody know that it was just a prank. His fans were not no. happy. He's just starting to fake everything now. When the initial reason why people were drawn to him Damn. was because he was genuine. Aiden's focus has shifted Chat. from being a Twitch streamer to if being I just this start viral shit, will get mad at me too? The whole point of Twitch is that it's raw and organic, but he's bringing this weird YouTube element to it. If this is really the direction he wants to go for money and attention, so be it. But he has to learn to embrace yes, the hate that bad, comes bro. with it. His viewers were possibly overreacting. A few fake yeah, pranks yeah, and they are ready to just write him off. I mentioned this to show how fickle an audience can be with live streaming. Because they spend hours of their time you watching good, you, nigga. they develop an understanding of who they think you are. You do one thing they don't like, they immediately criticize and say you are changing for the worse. Mm. Balancing this and Twitch's strict rules was eventually going to give. But Aiden yeah, went- Yeah, I don't have that big of an audience to know how people feel and shit, cause niggas, like, if it's sometimes when you fake some funny shit, I don't even care cause it's funny as shit. Back to a very classic style of content for him, e-dates. In these streams, Aiden would typically invite fake, a girl. Sometimes bro, it would be a famous about, Instagram bro. model, a prawn star, or just a generally attractive girl. And he would have his streamer friends get a minute or two to talk to the girl and try and win her over. The chat, girl would ask the questions, the they would ask her so questions, long. and she would slowly eliminate the contestants. Basically, the Twitch off. version of a classic dating show. Still to this day, this is Aiden's most popular type of content. Like this speed? content eventually upgraded to IRL dates. We where he would put raging? a streamer friend of his yo, on a blind date with a girl nigga, in person. This dynamic was a lot more realistic because 90% of the things contestants said on e-dates, they wouldn't actually say to the girl's face. But eventually, this would all reach a tipping point. Yo, chat! Everybody say, yo, she made it to a, she made it to a stream. Chat, every, everyone say hey to Sunny Demi. This is my manager right now, chat. This is my manager. Everybody say hey in the chat. This is my manager who been managing my TikTok and um other things. Everybody say hey. She actually made it to the stream. <clears throat> you a girl, right? My bad. If I if you're not a girl, I you know what I'm saying. I just seen uh your uh your Twitch. My bad. If you're not a girl and shit. <clears throat> Hi, you're you're streaming at the time I'm asleep, bro. I stream early. What's good? Wait, ain't that LJ mom? <laughs> Wait, hold on. 
Wait, ain't as love LJ mom. I am a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, chat. This is my manager. Someone DM me. She be um managing my TikTok. Oh yeah, and I did post a TikTok today. I gotta to give up. I, I gotta go it's show. Not it. really the numbers anymore. Yes. The problem is that people. Oh, I can't say that. Ah, dropping numbers. I know I'm scared. I can't say anything. Problem I have. Oh. It gets to me a lot just because I'm not getting 100k like I used to. It went down from 100 to. Why is his eyes red, 30, chat? 40, 50, like 30, 40. Why is his eyes so. red? Why? I, uh, I can't. Why is his eyes red? In the, um, 2021, in the, um, was losing viewership. You from good? <laughs> viewers to around 30 to Bro, 40, You gotta wait viewers. till she exits the screen. Totally normal to lose a lot of viewership, and 30 to 40k average would make him still an insanely yeah, successful streamer. Yeah, 37k people was still crazy. But his audience crazy, was still quick to remind him that he fell, fell off. off. To make things worse, the ethical Someone and legal implications his surrounding his Rubet what? sponsor was being broken down very extensively by Coffeezilla in a series called Rubet's House of Cards. This was executed so what well that Rubet? it caused a lot of streamers to abandon their partnerships with the company. Social media users became more aware of the shady online crypto mm. casinos and their tactics to get people Say what you want, to I'm not here to the dodge. ethics of streamers <laughs> using their influence no, to show I'll, I'll their potentially underage play. viewers how much fun and excitement comes yeah. with gambling were challenged. Say I would know gamble on stream is banned anyways. Money, which is the entire risk of gambling. If they lose they don't actually lose. Yeah. So they're never able to show the actual downsides and what potential catastrophes can happen when you gamble all of your money away. Facts. Aiden announced the world that he was depressed and needed to move Your sub LA. badges are weird, not gonna lie. Bro, it's JoJo Bizarre Adventures heads, bro. It's JoJo Bizarre Adventures, bro. Like, and it's some other sub badges, bro. You, like, yo, yo, yo. Yo, I'm not gonna explain. He I'm was exhausted. Explain this was the bro. first time Yo, we had ever really like, bro, seen Aiden on. stop moving at 100 miles per hour. At some point, it is impossible to maintain that face level of height. To be that entertaining bro, what do you for mean? hours on end, day in and day out, it's just unsustainable. He moved out of the clout house in LA and took his career back to New York. He took a very short 10 day break from streaming before he realized that he cannot give up. <laughs> he came back with a bang. His first stream oh, back. Oh yeah, he streamed with Uzi. Yo, this is crazy, chat. Streaming with Uzi is crazy, stream bro. With Lil Uzi Vert, who was easily the most famous I rapper this one he had ever streamed with, with a fresh mindset and another stream huge milestone, he was ready to grind again. He also got a brand new crypto casino sponsorship with Stake, so gambling was a regular program for him again. Oh, also, the e yeah, were back, move, even though one of them was about to take an unexpected turn for the worse. Aiden invited I Show Speed oh, to do an e date with chat. Ash Cash, who was the celebrity guest for the evening, oh, but Speed took things too yeah, far. Yeah, Basically, yeah. Speed threatened to R-word Ash Cash, and crazy. I would play the clip so you can see the context, but Speed likes to illegally copyright strike any video that has him featured in it. This got Speed I this banned on Twitch while he was just a guest on Aiden's stream. This controversy was huge, but it was pretty clear that Aiden was not at fault here. Even though a lot of people put the blame on him, Speed's actions didn't fully represent how the e-dates normally work. All this did was bring more attention to Aiden's streams and made the e-dates even That's more popular. Insane, Most streamers benefit from controversy. People get really angry. Yo, this dude had like pick they had he had fake videos of streamers getting piped flood them with casual viewers and then his and wife was in the background later like it's that's crazy of being controversial crazy. but not pissing off the masses and more importantly twitch where aiden was constantly balancing and he's damn good at it he knows exactly where to be edgy where he can make it seem like he has no filter to excite his audience i just turned this mother gay he likes sucking Nah, bro, you're not even two bars in. I'm saying bro. <laughs> he knows when to act dumb so his audience can bully him. Georgia, and that Georgia. Wait, chat. There's two states called Georgia. I gotta be fucking tripping. Is this bef Is this maybe years ago? How is Atlanta all the way over here? And he is an absolute. Chat, there's two Georgias. Mastermind when it comes to virality. Am I stupid? However, one of his beefs, he almost took it too far. That was with the rapper NBA Youngboy. No. Which started when a Youngboy Not a state, a country. Paid. Wait, so a state, wait. So is a state a country, chat, or no? Wait, I am so confused. Each liked a photo that Aiden. You be acting slow on purpose so we could bully you. A state? Bro, no, no, because I'm asking, no. Nick, yo, yo, okay, listen. It's two Georgias, right? So it's going to be like, it's confusing because it's a state and a country. 
ex-girlfriend Pammy posted. Aiden yo, didn't believe I, it was yo, real. He spent two minutes in straight silence staring at this, wondering LOL. why NBA Youngboy could be potentially romanticizing his it's girlfriend. They, bro, his bro, audience so convinced him bro. that it was real, even though it wasn't. So Aiden oh, yeah, a young boy did some that involved setting up one of his friends with NBA Youngboy's ex, Jania. While Jania was on an Instagram live, Aiden requested to There's join a Georgia and asked if his friend Georgia Parheed country. could spit oh. some game to her. A bunch of people screen recorded the videos and posted them fake. online saying that Aiden was flirting with Youngboy's ex. So Youngboy decided to make a lethal threat to Aiden in a nah, song this crazy the same song. day. Streamer, where is? Stop playing with me, bitch. Aiden responded to the diss track with a fake apology and a meme. <laughs> what the fuck? Before quickly realizing the next day what type of beef he was truly getting into. Why do you do Aiden that? is obviously not from the streets, doesn't live a dangerous life, and probably knew deep down that no real gangster is going to hurt him. But Damn. still, he knew he couldn't poke the bear too much. Because with Youngboy's reputation, it wasn't worth it for Aiden to take any chances, and eventually he apologized and stopped trolling the rapper. It was either this beef that went too far, or just him feeling generally exhausted again. But around the end of 2021 and beginning of 2022, Aiden slowed down a bit. Every month okay. in 2022, his views just kept dropping. Even Damn. though he was streaming pretty consistently, sticking to his gambling, reactions, and e-dates, he wasn't doing any viral stunts nor getting into unnecessary controversy, just mm -hmm. satisfying his fans and chilling like every other streamer. Despite okay. his more relaxed approach to Twitch, in April of 2022, he found himself in another their big controversy. Aiden okay. was becoming a victim of DDoS attacks. These attacks can occur when a hacker gets his IP address, oh. either by knowing where he lives in real life, or potentially if Aiden leaked that information, then the hackers have the ability to overload his internet so much that his stream lags and makes him unable to stream. Aiden Damn. was trying to fulfill his online gambling requirements one day that would get when a so hacker annoying, kept Aiden his stream. Out of frustration, he called one of his friends, Your Rage, who is Your another Rage? very popular Twitch streamer. Okay. Aiden didn't realize Rage was live when he said this. As he did you again? He got you again? Yes, bro. Like, this kid's a f oh! yeah! I censored the word, but he said the homophobic F slur. Aiden was not making fun of a gay person. He was angry at someone who was hacking him, but the context did not matter, and Aiden was about to get banned. At first, Your Rage tried to say that it was his friend from high school that said the slur and not Aiden. And still to this day, they never fully admit that it was Aiden. This is all alleged. After all, all we really have is just that audio, but there isn't a real reason to believe it wasn't Aiden. Man, chat, and after man, the clip was man. blown up on Twitter by Jake Lucky, Aiden received his longest ban of of all time. Over 40 days, Aiden was banned from Twitch. Funny Please. enough, this actually wasn't huge news. Aiden had been banned many times before, and nobody hey, you know knew I'm how long. I'm banned from my main YouTube gaming channel. I've been banned for two months, and I'm getting made, banned, unbanned, May 20th. So we're gonna be starting posting on my gaming channel again. I've been banned for two fucking months for no reason. I got banned for no reason. I literally opened YouTube one day and said I was banned. I got a strike. For no, I didn't even do nothing. I literally didn't do nothing. Like, I hate long you too, this would bro. be, and most people just took his side because they didn't think he had any true bad intentions. Usually, Aiden comments on his bans, but this time he just kind of disappeared for six weeks. When he returned to streaming I'm after sure his long was ban in June, he was had no about reason. seventy thousand average viewers. The long Twitch ban did not hurt his numbers at all. In fact. It probably helped him. Giving the fans a break allowed them to be hungry for more content. As if mm. things couldn't get any better, he got blessed with a whole new content lane that he could capitalize on. Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate was the most searched for man in the world this in This was July crazy, chat. Andrew Tate Basically, ever Basically, overnight, this Twitch. man was everywhere. Clips of him that were causing controversy were at the top of everyone's algorithm on every social media platform. Despite Tate being everywhere, there was still a large mystery to him. Was he just a character? Was this just a meme? Is he actually filthy rich? Yeah, I don't Is know where criminal? this nigga spawned With massive in streamers it. like chat, Asanami. He literally spawned in one night, bro. I was literally... Yo, chat, like, he spawned in one day, bro. Like, I literally checked my TikTok. He was everywhere, bro. On Twitter, on Instagram, I never heard of him in my damn life. And then it just, like, he just came out of nowhere, bro. 
and XQC denouncing Tate. Yeah, oh, he just got released Aiden out of jail. Was the largest streamer willing to talk to him. Andrew Tate and Aiden's collab stream would become Aiden's most popular stream in his whole career. Well, at least in terms of YouTube views. Every mm. single person on the internet was talking about Tate. Most people were bashing his worldviews, but Aiden's community loved him, and Aiden took a liking to Tate as well. In the beginning, Tate was mostly farming Aiden's viewers to promote his Hustlers University course, and Aiden was just okay. picking his brain for the Scam. content. But Andrew quickly realized that Aiden was reluctant to say how he truly felt on certain subjects, okay. citing that Aiden was afraid the Matrix would cancel him, which to the some Matrix. degree is true. All what content is the creators Matrix? need to abide by censorship standards, which can be dangerous to break. Even I get tired of censoring myself. They streamed together often after the first couple were a success, and Tate became somewhat of a mentor to Aiden. Bro, you got like the best f***ing mentality, the like underground brain, like, I've never seen in my f***ing life. What the f***? Everything you're saying is just like what are you said, talking about? It's literally facts. I agree with like 100% of everything. However, it wasn't long before Andrew Tate was banned. Oh, yeah, from he got banned on social media everything. platform, which was when Aiden if you were crazy. Him the most. <laughs> As of right now, guys, um, I am no longer in a relationship. Damn. I am single. Aiden and his longtime girlfriend, Pammy, broke up. This affected him tremendously, and he didn't talk about the details too much publicly, but just said they decided to go their separate ways. Immediately after, he started Damn, doing e-dates where he was the one that a bunch of women were trying to get a date with. Every day, he had OnlyFans models and women fawning over him to boost his ego. His Chat, you think OnlyFans models would come on my stream and, like, talk to me? No. Alright. Fans loved it, and they saw a new spark in Aiden. Single Aiden's content is 10 times better. Not even just for the content with girls, but he just seems more energetic yeah, eight and fun months. in general. What's happened in eight months? What do you mean? Pammy was really holding Aiden back. It's crazy how great his content is again. However, Lil Uzi Vert disagreed. He thought Aiden should get his girl back. You shouldn't have broke up with that girl. Damn. I know, bro. You gotta be famous? On top of that, Twitch I'm also gonna be famous eight months, trust me. Platform, which most people saw as a net positive for the app. But streamers like Aiden, who were raking in millions of dollars per month from the site, oh, were see. furious. The only type of content Aiden had was related to his relationship status. He would swipe through girls on Tinder, bring OnlyFans it? girls on stream, and kiss them on the mouth, which some- Someone is knocking on my door? I'm tripping. Some people saw as his most down bad moment, but his audience right, thought Demi? he was super um, lit. Sure. Once he asked one of the girls to be his <laughs> girlfriend, his not chat started to me. change their opinion. Not agree Never thought I would see Aiden in such a low spot, especially in streaming. Bring back the old times, dear friend. Andrew needs to save his son. Just like with all of Aiden's content, it's hard to tell what is real and what is just a viral stunt. This very well could have been knowing his own community would make fun of him. It was likely all for entertainment, because he just hopped from one girl to another. I was just curious, Nadia. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm in LA right now. Do you want to uh, go on a date with me? You're an aggressive. Oh, <laughs> a date, a date with me, uh, a phone date. A date, a date with Aiden Ross. Because they're saying. You know what? No, no, no. It's just... I'm not coming back. Stop, Karina, come on. I'm not coming back. Ew! Ew! What? What the? F Yo, if you ever, s oh my, that is disgusting. However, something that was very that real was his ex-girlfriend starting an OnlyFans, which obviously bothered him. It kind of seemed like they were both battling to make each other jealous. Aiden's fans were saying that she hit rock bottom, but they were just trying to protect Aiden's feelings, because I'm sure he wasn't excited about her new career. And just when Aiden needed him oh. the most, the top G returned after a long hiatus hey. and immediately questions Aiden's new lifestyle. Aiden, what are you doing with your life? Come on, bro. Already off the jump? You don't want to catch up? Hey, yeah. how's it going? Were you, you What's the point in catching up? Yeah, do that. Do that with your guess. I bet I got you. Basically know the answer. Catch you, my man. I got to do everything she say. No. I Sitting mean, around, I, doing no. drugs, drinking, no. doing absolutely nothing important, hanging around with a bunch of losers. That's what you're doing. Viewers shifted their alliance to, to Tate, and they realized he was right about Aiden's lifestyle, yeah, but Aiden that. didn't listen. He kept living his dopamine-boosting, pleasure-filled lifestyle. Aiden, better, Eventually, yeah. he would fly to Dubai to meet Andrew Tate in person, which seemed to be the catalyst to some real change. Aiden did his classic performative suspect humor. But Tate convinced yo, Aiden yo, to get yo, into shape ew, and try to stop, make better stop, life stop choices. Stop, stop. He came back to the USA on a mission, now turning his body transformation into content. They made a deal that if Tate could do 150 push-ups in five minutes, Aiden had to shave his head bald. Then after Andrew did it with- Man, yeah, nigga, I could do- Man, push-ups. That's easy. Stop 
One! With ease, Aiden asked for redemption. If he did 30 push-ups in a row, he could keep his hair. These were the push-ups. Come on. Come on. Six. Come on. Seven. Come on. Eight. Come on. <laughs> Nine. Come on. Chat, it's not even. Bro, I can do push-ups, chat. It's really my floor, bro. My floor is really hard, bro. Chat, even my floor is like weeks, really hard, he eventually bro. That's literally why bald. I can't do push-ups. Just a couple days before he did it, Andrew Tate got arrested in Romania after being investigated it's, for it's potential like the floor, human bro. trafficking crimes. Aiden stood his ground and said that he supports Andrew Tate and does not believe he is guilty, whereas the entirety of the internet celebrated Andrew Tate's imprisonment. But just one week into his bald new year, he randomly got a seven-day ban on Twitch. Again, not really clear as to why. If you haven't noticed Damn. by now, Twitch often doesn't state why people get banned. They just remind those creators, don't get too comfortable. Yo, Zay, chill. Zay, relax. Let's take a breather. Breathe in, breathe out. Chill. Chill. I've been on Twitch. Um, I'm not as mad and devastated as I would be, um, you know, a year or two ago. Because I think I'm at a point in my mind where I realize I trust God. And yo, y'all, yo, is this right? It seems like Everybody Aiden getting banned throughout his career has been good chill, for him. It allows him to at least slow down and rethink everything he does. Usually after yo. his bans, he returns. <laughs> yo, Zay, chill, bro. <laughs> you chill, relax. Relax, bro. ...as the best version of himself, and his fans love it. And this time, that couldn't be more true. In January of 2023, he returned to Twitch, taking his fitness journey as serious as possible, That's telling his up. followers that he was not having sex, doing drugs, or drinking alcohol. He was going to fully focus on bettering his health this year. W. However, some people w, thought w, this w, lifestyle w. change was a warning sign. Hasanabi, another massive Twitch streamer mostly known for his political commentary, Why predicted that, that Aiden was going to turn into another Sneeko. If he keeps going down this pipeline, He's gonna turn into like another Sneeko. He's just gonna be banned from everything. He just needs to fucking save himself. It's good that he's working out. It's good that he's like bettering himself. These are concepts that I'm on board with, but this like no fap, weird right wing shit. Wait, so if he don't be his meat and work out, he's turning to Sneeko? Wait, I don't understand this chat is not good. Hassan clearly believes that working out and pushing a positive and healthy lifestyle Yo, is good. Zay, relax. But he predicted that Aiden would take it too relax. far. That this red relax. pill nonsense typically leads young men to spiral into far right wing belief systems that he thinks are generally bad. This was definitely an aggressive take and was probably based on the fact that Andrew Tate was Aiden's mentor. In fact, Tate announced that Aiden will be one of his five allowed visitors to prison. However, Aiden disappeared. Um, I basically yo, got yo, I'm not going to say who he was, but bro, just you know who you are. Just, and you, and you basically said, hey, man, if you keep doing controversial stuff Everybody's and too. you keep saying certain things and you keep basically, you know, promoting um, certain things on your stream, we're going to have to take you down uh, indefinitely. Aiden believes that, that his new lifestyle choices were the reason that Twitch was trying to silence him. It seemed like Twitch was okay with promoting gambling, alcohol consumption, prawn addiction, and a degenerative lifestyle. But when he tried... Hold on. Let me tell something real quick. What? You can do this on Twitch? I didn't know that. What's this? One more. From first to last. One more and then we go to Mbarra. <laughs> yeah, I, I know people in this chat is horny. I know he tried to better himself crazy, and convince his audience bro. to improve oh their mental and physical health that he was being threatened. This was the last Why you time know? Aiden you're was not, going to let Twitch not hold their power it. over Yo, his chill, head. Bro. So he announced I'm to the world that he would start streaming doing, on Kick. So guys, I'm not permanently full-time going there. I want to feel it out and I want to make sure my community f with it too. So I'll still stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this, I'm going to Kick this week. Kick is a live streaming platform Kick that looks Twitch, and operates yeah? almost exactly like Twitch. Although it's not very clear who owns Kick, there's a lot of evidence that supports that Edward Craven, one of the founders of Stake.com, is a part owner of the site. Hell Another no. part owner is Trainwrecks <laughs> TV, who was the largest gambling streamer on Twitch. Kick's main differentiating factors is that they pay their streamers 95% of their subscriber money, and Kick takes. 
Not, not, no. Not if I. Not if I. Not if I. five percent they also have extremely lenient terms of service so when aiden said he could do whatever he wanted he wasn't lying he went to kick stream the super bowl which is dangerously illegal and even pulled up the front page of prawn hub while streaming to tens of thousands of people mostly underage kids as if it couldn't get any worse the chat is totally unfiltered Who donated so the, the comment streamers? section is flooded with just about every racial slur you could ever imagine the stream was clipped and went extremely viral on twitter everyone agreed that this was a stupid decision and aiden ultimately apologized for it, citing his own hypocrisy since he no longer watches Prawn and thinks it's very unhealthy. Plus, he's been profiting off Prawn stars and OF models for years now. He went back and forth from streaming on Twitch, then back Train to kick for about Wait 10 days doing? in February. It was during Train this time where he was negotiating an extremely large exclusive deal with Kick, similar to when Ninja signed to the Microsoft-owned Mixer streaming platform for between 20 to 30 million dollars in 2019. Damn. And they're giving me tens of M's if I go full time. If you guys, if you guys, you know, if I go full time, it's equity. Trainwreck said that Aiden's deal is complicated and has a bundle of things in his contract that isn't just a streaming deal. But he did confirm that the Play dollar amount system. is the largest streaming deal of all time, which would mean that Aiden's take home payout would have to be at a minimum of $30 million. One Oh my god. Bro, I, if I got this much money, bro. Bro, if I got this fucking much money, my nigga. Yo, I wouldn't give a fuck what anybody have to say to me. I see why he be acting like this. Because he got so much money, he don't care if he get canceled. Nigga, this is generational wealth right here, my nigga. Once he secured this deal, he was permanently banned on Twitch million? forever. He was given a reason that he did not make public, but he hinted that it could have been related to things he was doing on his kick live streams. Aiden would not be the first example of an unfair ban or an unknown permanent ban. And since this was his eighth time being banned in total, I don't think anyone was really surprised. So now yeah. that Aiden has secured generational wealth and banned? no longer has to abide by any rules and restrictions, he basically has full freedom to say and do whatever he wants. So he decided to finally state how he feels about trans people. There are only two genders, 73 million views, 570k likes, 63k retweets, 11k quotes, 4,000 bookmarks. Holy attributes! What's good, attributes? He wants to. He wants. There he are wants only two forever? genders. Was tweeted, yeah. which got over half a million likes, 50 million impressions, and 3 million engagements. I'm not coming at the gay community, the LGBT. I'm not coming at them, bro. I'm coming at the cancel culture. Yeah, what's out there? How many gins are there? Aiden claims that his comment was not transphobic. He was using this as an example of how cancel culture will try to take you down if you say something they disagree with. His comment was not very edgy, but he knew people would freak out, and they did. He then attacked other oh, streamers. Oh, he got banned because of the streamers. I'm gonna clap bro. back and respond to. Stop this fucking cat, bro. You don't give a fuck. You are signed under Twitch contract. To which XQC replied the best. That's like going to a, to a spot, like a go, going to a church for people that are praying and be like, God isn't real. God, no, no gods are here, lol. What are you guys doing? Gods aren't there, lol. And then you say, am I wrong? <laughs> am I wrong though? It doesn't really make sense why Aiden is doing political <laughs> hot takes. He has no intention of doing actual <laughs> research or trying to attack any complicated funny, problem. His biggest rebuttal is that people on the internet need to go outside his, eh? because their reality cannot simply be the same reality he is living in. His next hot take was... To all you guys that get to pick your pronouns, my pronouns is kill slash them, okay? Which was followed by an apology. And I just wanted from the bottom of my heart, uh, apologize for absolutely fucking nothing. Okay, I'm Aiden Ross, and Aiden Ross is gonna say what the f he says. Which was followed by this statement a few days later. I just don't f The only thing I don't like about this community is you guys are homophobic and transphobic. I don't fuck with that because y'all don't know what it's like. You know, people, you just don't know what it's like. You're not in their, you're not in their shoes. So basically... Yo, is he bipolar? What? 
It's tough to know how he really feels about anything. So think to yourself, is Aiden's behavior on kick really all that different from the stuff we showed in the beginning and throughout this video? His whole rise to fame was because he is so. an edgy teenager. All of his success came from him being edgy, toxic, or playing dumb. He hasn't changed, he's just 22 now, more popular, and extremely rich. It's understandable why people get angry at him, but his behavior shouldn't be unexpected. He is constantly contradicting himself, pretending to be dumber than he is, walking back on things that he says, telling people to not take him seriously, and that everything he does is just jokes. And it's probably all just because he is bored. His streams consist of him reacting to stuff on the internet, talking to girls with their chests exposed, playing video games, and gambling. Even though he will tell you that you need to go outside, get off the internet, OnlyFans girls are poison, and gambling is an addictive habit. He likely gets bored in his mansion, and when he's bored, he'll say something to get a rise out of people, play it off like it's just Facts. a joke, apologize, and then rinse and repeat. He is never Facts. going to be canceled, he is never going to be deplatformed, and fuck? he has made enough money that he doesn't actually have to work another day in his life. He is going to do whatever he wants, and it's up for you to decide if you want to give him any more of your attention. He not lying. He... What he just said was straight facts, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, the nigga got so much money, bro. He 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 probably don't give a care what he say, bro. <laughs> he probably don't give a care what he say. Bro.